Hi, my name is Mark Bailey. I'm an application engineer here at Agilent Technologies. Today I'd like to talk to you a little about the 34980 and how to connect up to it. Uh, the 34980 is a eight slot mainframe with a built-in digital multimeter. It is used both in data acquisition applications and also in automated test systems where it becomes the heart of the switching uh, and, and routing within an automated test system. Uh, I'd like to talk to you basically about how do you connect up to the 34980. So let me show you all the different, uh, different aspects of the rear panel. First off, you notice here on the, uh, on the right, on my right is the uh, uh, power input. It goes from 100 to 240 volts of input, so it is a universal input. Uh, just above that is a computer I.O. Here we have a LAN, a USB, and a GPIB interface. So you can use any, uh, any of those three. Just above that is a little connector that not only brings in external triggering, if you want to trigger events or trigger uh, measurements within the system, but also brings out some pins that are TTL drivers. Uh, they'll go high and low based on alarming. So if you have, maybe you've set something up that if it exceeds a certain spec, a certain voltage or something, you'll generate an alarm, and that's a hardware output. Okay, if I move over here now to the left of the instrument, you'll see that there's a, uh, a bus system. There's actually internal to the instrument itself, uh, there's four analog buses that go back and forth within the instrument and interconnect. And you can bring that out externally as well. And as you connect up to that, you could perhaps uh, supply a, uh, a function generator in and maybe use a counter to measure and so forth. So that's another flexibility of the 34980A. Uh, so let's talk about the cards themselves. The cards uh, slide into the slot. You can tie them down. Notice that they come out in standard D connectors. These are either D50 or D78s. How do you connect to those? Well, multiple ways. We supply uh, D connectors with little solder cups in there so you can do your soldering and wiring up to these and then connect them directly uh, into the system like that. We also have terminal cards and the terminal cards are unique to each of the, uh, the different uh, uh, modules that you plug in. Notice inside there's a bunch of little screw terminals that you can use to tie things together and then these mount directly in here. And actually, I'm not showing it now, but there's a plastic housing that mounts in here, and these tie in real tight and are very secure. Okay, so that's another way that you can tie into them. We also have uh, cables uh, that are uh, D-type cables that you can plug in directly and expand out to where you want to connect and interconnect things. Uh, and finally, on the RF and microwave, you can see that we have a variety of different connectors. This happens to be a um, quad by 1 by 4 RF matrix. Over here I have a triple one by two uh, microwave switch. Often in uh, ATE systems we find that people want to mount those switches uh, away from the, the instrument and close to whatever they're trying to switch. So if you have something like these uh, microwave switches here, this happens to be a uh, uh, single pole six, uh, six throw coax switch. The way that we drive these is through an external driver here that will supply the, uh, the actual pulses. And you tie that in directly into the um, 34945A switch attenuator driver and you can drive attenuators, switches, couplers and so forth in a microwave system. So hopefully that's shown you how to interconnect to the 34980A. There's a variety of ways, all of which are pretty simple and pretty straightforward. So thanks for listening. Hope to talk to you again soon.